خطابا يعرض فيه لأهمية التضامن العربي وأيضا الحديث بشكل كبير وأكثر تفصيلا عن استعادة فعالية الجامعة العربية في حل المشكلات والقضايا يوم بيننا بفخامة الرئيس في رحاب الجامعة العربية وهي مناسبة لكي أتقدم لفخامته مجددا بأسمى التهاني بمناسبة انتخابه رئيسا للجمهورية اللبنانية مع التأكيد على أن هذا الانتخاب ومصر حبه من حالة من التوافق السياسي يعرضها أهمية التعاون بين Lebanon is a country that is dear to our hearts and increasing stability in Lebanon would improve things in the Middle East and this is our goal that we are all working for. We realize the difficulties and the challenges faced by Lebanon to achieve such stability as well as reinforce it. In addition to that, challenges faced by Lebanon due to the civil war in Syria that led to the displacement of millions of refugees from Syria and this is the responsibility of the Lebanese government so it needs full support. I have visited Mr. President Lebanon three weeks ago and in the framework of this visit, I visited one of the Lebanese schools and I found that they are working morning in educating the Lebanese students and in the evening the schools open their doors to host millions of Syrian children as well as Iraqi students so that they would be able to receive education. And I've noticed this great effort shouldered by the Lebanese state in this context. And once I came back, I communicated with a number of international organizations as well as donors to increase the assistance and support to the state of Lebanon that is hosting uh, hundreds uh, of thousands, if not millions, uh, of refugees and displaced persons. We would like to extend deep thanks to Lebanon and to Your Excellency, the President, for all what you're doing. And now the floor is yours, Mr. President. The Secretary General of the League of Arab States, uh, Your Excellency Mr. Ahmed Abul Ghait, uh, Your Excellences, uh, Your Highnesses, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor and pleasure to meet you today uh, under the flag uh, of uh, Arab countries at the headquarters of the League of Arab States uh, to deliver a speech. Uh, according to an important and generous invitation from His Excellency, the Secretary General Ahmed Abul Ghait. We are meeting today at a time when the world is witnessing great developments and changes that are similar in the dangers and challenges World War II as well as its repercussions that no nation was apart from. At that time, uh, the Arabs uh, established uh, an organization to unite them all and to defend their issues and causes. Lebanon played a pivotal role in the establishment of the League of Arab States and on the 22 of 1954, the League of Arab States was established and the Arabs has developed a charter for it. And if this charter was respected, then our Arab nation would have been able to avoid a lot of wars and scourges. 
And here we find that the world once more is going through a third world war, but it is divided and fragmented here and there. It is moved by terrorism that was never witnessed by humanity before. We have never seen such crimes. Terrorism that is hiding behind the religion, and religion has nothing to do with it. And this terrorism wants only to destroy our humanity and our civilization and heritage that has destroyed a lot of countries and led to a lot of destruction and its remnants has affected even the League of Arab States. Your Excellences, ladies and gentlemen, dear participants, the Zionism succeeded in turning the Zionist Arab war into an Arab Arab war based on a sectarian and brutal war between the people of the same country, which would give a pretext for Israel to go on with the Judaization of Jerusalem, as well as making the Palestinians foreigners on their own territories. And this is a must to put an end to the bloodshed and also to be wise enough to rectify our path as well as unite our efforts to protect Jerusalem as well as the heritage of Jerusalem that unites the heritage of the Muslims and Christians and all their uh, impacts. Can we imagine Jerusalem without the church and without the mosque? Lebanon today is again back on its feet, ready to exert its efforts and to contribute within the big Arab family to achieve those aspirations we are all looking forward to. And uh, Lebanon is there to contribute in any development project that would create an opportunity for reconstruction and change on principles uh, and visions that would give momentum to our countries, our nations, towards stability, development, and prosperity. Thank you for your due listening. I would like to express on behalf of everyone our deep thanks and appreciation to His Excellency the President for this speech. Although it was a short speech, yet it reflects a strong, deep vision as well as a good analysis of the Arab status quo right now. I wish the President a good visit to the city of Cairo and to the League of Arab States and now I'm going to accompany him in a short tour in the League of Arab States and then I will bid him farewell and by this we come to the end of the ceremony. Thank you.